Hi, Alex here from Repeller.com and welcome back to this awesome tutorial series on tiny constraints. And today we are going to go further with SuperViews Auto Layout. Of course, all of it in Swift 5. So without further ado, let's jump right into the code. Okay, everybody, we have uh, learned how to add our view to our super view. We have learned how to uh, add to the leading, trailing, top, bottom super view. And we have learned along the way some UI edge uh, constraints and some offsets. Okay, uh, today we are going to go even further uh, into our auto layout slash super view uh, journey. And we are going to talk about some advanced um, properties of uh, our tiny constraints uh, slash super view. Okay, so what I mean by that, if we go into our tiny constraints plus super view dot Swift file, you can see we have already talked about the leading to super view and trailing to super view um, function. And if we scroll a little bit down, you will see that we have this horizontal to super view. And uh, it has these insets, of course, the relation, priority is active and using safe areas. So uh, let's take a look at this horizontal to super view. Let's go back and uh, I will leave this um, top uh, and bottom super view. And uh, let's see, view zero and horizontal to super view. Let's just add this here. And um, yeah, let's just build and run and see that we will have the screen all covered in blue. And yeah, that is it. Let me just resize this with command arrow. And there we go. Okay. And um, yeah, we have got rid of two lines and that is uh, pretty nice. So what do we have here, super view? We have our insets. Uh, using safe area. Um, let's see, I will just uh, use these tiny insets. Tiny edge insets. And let's see here. Um, top zero, left, let's say 12, of course, because this is horizontal. And uh, let's see, bottom zero again, and 12 for the right two. And um, yeah, let's see here. Uh, let's use our safe area. So true. Uh, I already discussed this in the previous episode, but let's just take a look at how this looks. Okay, there we go. We have these 12 uh, insets. And uh, of course, top to super view is basically to the all, all of the way top. And we have this using safe area. So let's see if we rotate the device, if we do get the safe area. There we go. Yeah, and this is just 12 here and 12 there. Awesome stuff. Okay, uh, the same goes for a vertical to super view. So let's just delete all of this, to top to super view and bottom to super view. And um, let's use view zero and vertical to super view. And I will add in here some insets too. Let's say 30, uh, not like that, tiny edge insets. Okay, there we go. And uh, now we have to add for top 32, left is zero because it's not there, so we are not using it. 32 to bottom, right zero. And um, yeah, let me just delete all of these because these are set to default and they are okay. Uh, using safe area, let's use true again. So let's hit command R and rebuild our project. And we will see that now on the top we have 32, on the bottom we have 32 and of course we have our safe area here and yeah for the other one these are responsible so let me rotate this back here as you can see awesome stuff okay and yeah that is horizontal to super view and vertical to super view let's move forward okay horizontal vertical to super view and we have some layout edges so don't worry about these these are just uh, declarations. Okay, uh, safe constrainable is a private, so we don't have to worry about that. But here we have 
center in super view. Now that is a good thing because we want to center things into our views and of course we are talking about super view so we are going to center it super view. So let me just stop this, let's go back and before we do that I'm just going to skip ahead and we I will add the width and height of our view but yeah uh, we will talk about that later. So view zero uh, width and as you can see it's pretty straightforward but let's add it here 200 view dot zero dot height and again let's add in here 200 so we get the square and now we can use view zero dot center uh, in super view okay there we go center in super view uh, let's see how uh, this works and if you have a good imagination you already know that yeah it is centered into the super view let's add 300 for our height so we can see that it actually that is our height and it works uh, pretty straightforward let's uh, rotate this awesome works uh, with auto <laughs> that's the magic of auto layout okay let's see let me just add this back to 200 and what else do we have here so view and we have our offset and this is a CG point so let me just show you how this works and a priority is active using safe area I will just omit all of these you already know what this means but don't have to uh, bother explaining now and uh, a CG point there we go and it has an x and a y value now if we add in here a zero and zero pretty straightforward we will not change everything anything but let's add in here let's say 100 for the x value let's build and run and this is just so we can bump this uh, to the right to y by 100 what happens if i add in here minus 100 and you have pretty much guessed it it will bump this view to the left okay and the same goes for y let's add in here 100 and of course uh, you most probably will have one of these uh, as a zero so let's add in here uh, minus y 100 and build and run um, because you maybe just want to bump a little bit up or a little bit down or a little bit to the right you don't actually want to have this to have this minus 100 uh, x and minus 100 y yeah and that is it center in super view pretty straightforward one line of code and again uh, I'm using this width and height because we need to constrain uh, so we can see uh, that view okay uh, origin to super view now this is a real interesting one uh, we we'll leave this with height again and let's type in origin to super view okay and let's see how uh, this works and uh, yeah if you know what origin means it's basically here up it's zero and zero x zero y it is adding this to the origin and it has this width and height of 200 pretty straightforward and uh, let's add in here view and of course you can have our insets you can type in tiny edge insets and let's add in here let's say to the top uh, let's say 32 maybe to the left and that is what takes effect again 32 uh, bottom right uh, you can set this to zero because basically it doesn't really have effect relationship priority is active let's delete those because we want to use the default one and using safe area uh, let's add in here false for now so we can see what happens and what happens if we set this to true and as you can see we have uh, this 32 and 32 here and yeah it's kind of ugly because it's uh, adding this to the notch so let's set this to true hit command R to build and run again and we will see that it handles the safe area layout count and of course this is uh, down here because we have our top edge inset set to 32 and let me just rotate this so you can see how awesome it is okay uh, yeah that is origin to super view what is up next 
uh, width to super view. Okay, and this is again, and width and height to super view. This is again, a real interesting one. Uh, let's take a look at, uh, I will just leave the height as is and delete this uh, width. Okay, height is that and width to super view. Okay, uh, yes, let's see, I have deleted this parentheses. So yeah, let's see if this works. If not, then maybe we will need to add some constraints, but no, that is it, width and to, to super view and height. It is pretty straightforward. If we wanted to, we can add in some more. So let's delete that and let's add in some dimensions. And we have here, but I'm not going to use that multiplier. So let's add in here 0 0.5, no. 0 0.5. Okay, let's delete everything else and see how this works. As you can see, it's multiplying, okay? And that is pretty straightforward. We have half of the screen. Okay, uh, let's move forward and let's take a look at not the multiplier because that is pretty okay. Uh, or maybe let's multiply this by 0 0.5 so we can see the offset. And the offset, let it be 100. Uh, relationship priority is active again. And uh, using safe area, I will use this to true. You already know what that means. I have covered this multiple times. So now we are focusing on the offset. And as you can see, here we have our multiplier, okay, 0 0.5, but we have this offset by 100. There we go, 100 and the half of it. So, um, yeah, it's kind of self-explanatory, but that is why we uh, have this tutorial series to uh, have you deep dive into this. And um, let's see, uh, let's add in here height to super view, uh, to super view, dimensions, let's add in here, uh, well, nothing. <laughs> uh, let's omit the multiplier for now and have this offset set to, let's say 200. And uh, uh, let's not use the safe area for now. There we go. Let's see what do we have now. These are uh, simple functions that we can use to make our lives easier. As you can see, two lines of code. Let's hit command arrow and see how this looks on a landscape. Okay. And that is height to super view and width to super view. What else do we have? Left to super view, right to super view. You already knew this, I kind of uh, uh, touched this, but uh, it is basically self-explanatory. We are constraining left to super view. So I'm not going to go with top to super view, bottom to super view. Let's move on to center X to super view. Okay, so uh, let's go and delete all of this. And uh, again, let's add some width. So view zero and width, and that will be, let's say 200. View zero height, and again 200. And uh, now we are going to center X to super view, okay? And uh, yeah. <laughs> it is kind of, again, self-explanatory, but let me just show you center X, center X to super view. Okay, hit command R and let's see what happens. There we go, it's at the very top because we haven't added any center Y to super view or any uh, anchors that uh, refer to the top. We could add in here, let's say, view zero top to super view. And we are going to add in here an offset of, let's say, 100 and using safe area layout. So through there and uh, just delete this and now you will see that it is bumped a little bit down from the top. There we go. Okay, uh, of course we could uh, use this view and we can 
and anchor it with a multiplier and an offset. So let's see how that offset works because I want to show you if we add in here, let's say 300, let's add in here 300 and using safe area layout guide, priority and is active. Let's use the default ones and let's comment this out. Okay, and now we should see the magic happen. Okay, because we have this X offset. Okay, um, let me just add in here just 100. There we go. It's offset only by 100. Okay, and of course you can use this top to super view. Uh, and that is center X to super view. Of course, the same goes uh, to center Y to super view. I won't go into this because it's self-explanatory. Okay, and then we have gone to the end of our super view anchoring with auto layout. Okay, uh, that is it. In the next video, we are going to move even further and have some more views. And we are going to jump right into this tinyconstraints.swift file where you can, you can see we have a lot of uh, extensions. And yet we are going to constrain a lot more views, not just only this one that we are kind of tired by now. So we want more views. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you get notified of the next video. Again, if you don't hit that notification bell, you maybe will get it on your feed, you will maybe not get it on your feed. So go ahead and smash that bell. Uh, and as usual, I will see you in the next one.